Okay, so now let's talk about something called best effort and reliable delivery. So imagine for a second that this is your laptop and you're attempting to connect that laptop over to some server over here. And the idea here is that if you are attempting to load a web page, you really need to make sure that every single request that you send out is responded to from the server so that you get exactly every piece of the web page in exactly the right position on the screen. So maybe the logo's up here and the text is here and you don't want some word to go missing on you. That is an example of something called reliable transmission or reliable delivery. And delivery more is the word used more in, in messaging because you know you mess you deliver messages. Now, in the case of some systems, you don't actually need to have that communication be reliable. And if that's the case, if you send out uh, a request, for example, if you're if you are maybe streaming a video and you don't need every single piece of the original video to come down because uh, maybe the fact that this pixel is blue or light blue or just is missing in the case of you know millions of pixels on the screen probably doesn't make any difference. So in that case, you can have unreliable delivery or what's called best effort. And this is sort of the contrast between the two, best effort versus reliable. In the case of reliable, you get tracking, you get logging, you get a lot of information about exactly what's happening in that communication. Whereas in best effort, you again, you sort of make your best effort to get the information across. Now, here is an explanation from Wikipedia about the two. And I'll let you read through this, but it's essentially... Pretty straightforward, best effort delivery describes a network service in which the network does not provide any guarantees that the data is delivered or that a user is given guaranteed quality of service level or certain priority. So I think this is probably easiest to understand in terms of examples. These examples here are actually pretty good. So the postal service delivers letters using a best effort delivery approach. The delivery of a certain letter is not scheduled in advance. No resources are pre-allocated in the post office. The service will make the best effort to deliver a message, but the delivery may be delayed if too many letters arrive to a postal service suddenly. And the sender is not informed if a letter has been delivered successfully, unless you set that up, of course, which is not usually the case. And you can uh, you can read the rest of these. You know, if you're interested and have been studying TCP or have studied it in the past, it, it, you can you can see here that the internet protocol offers the best effort service in delivering datagrams between hosts. Those may be lost, arbitrarily delayed, uh, corrupted, or duplicated. The applications built on top of it implement the additional services that they require on an end-to-end -end basis. So TCP provides a guaranteed delivery of an octet stream between a pair of hosts on the above layer, internally splitting the stream into packets, resending those that got lost or corrupted. User datagram protocol, or UDP, provides a thinner abstraction layer, which only error checks the datagrams. Both are transport layer protocols and provide multiplexing between processes on the same host implemented with port numbers. So in other words, the IP protocol, so there's IP and there's TCP. If you've, if you've seen this uh, before, it should make pretty good sense to you. Um, you have, these are the different layers. This is the OSI, traditional OSI layer. This is from one to seven. And, you know, the IP uh, layer here is at, at the layer three, and then there's a layer four, TCP and UDP. This is where you talk about ports. That's a TCP port. And essentially what they're saying here is that the at the IP layer at layer three, this is not guaranteed. It's best effort at the IP layer. But then at, the, at layer four here, uh, TCP as opposed to UDP, TCP especially, will do error checking to be sure that you, you do not get best effort, but you get reliable trans, uh, transfer of messages. And then when you look at this primer that we were looking at before, you'll see WebSphere MQ is the market leading messaging service. We saw this before, originally introduced in 93. It always focused on providing an available, reliable, scalable, secure, and high performance transport mechanism to address the requirements we discussed in the previous chapter. So in other words, this is not a best effort system. It's a reliable system. It gives you logging. It gives you, uh, it, it can guarantee that a packet that has gone or a message that has gone from point A will actually arrive at point B. So you're, you're doing this essentially. You're saying some system A and then some system B. When you put a message on a queue, we're going to look at this. When you put a message on a queue and then it goes out to the queue manager, this is, let's call this the queue manager. This message will absolutely, at some point, go to point B. This would be like, say, it's, um, it's input, right? And this is the output. 
it will go through. It is reliable communication. It's not best effort. And we'll look at why this works uh, later on. But again, reliable, not best effort.